Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa coming to you live on the scripture prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. I want us to pray and then we listen to the voice of our King. Father, we bless you and we thank you this morning. We acknowledge that you are King, we acknowledge that you are supreme and that you reign over all the nations of the earth. This morning, as we listen to your voice, we ask that you minister to us, you bless us, O oh God, and that you will give us understanding, O oh God. We pray for your presence in our midst, O oh Jehovah God. We thank you for the nation of Kenya, even as in about a day we'll go to elections. We are praying for peace, we are praying for unity, and we are praying that above all, God Almighty, you're going to give us leaders of your choice. This is our prayer this morning in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. What a privilege, what an opportunity to be called the children of God. I want to speak about a Sabbath this morning. God knows. God knows. Now, there is nothing that will ever happen that will catch God by surprise. God knows the end from the beginning. Nothing will catch God by surprise. The Bible tells us, he that watches over Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers. So God can never be caught by surprise. So God knows. Yesterday, I had opportunity to speak to uh, the people I supervise at work. We had a prayer meeting and I was encouraging them. And I want to continue from where I left yesterday that we must learn and know how to manage expectation because God knows. Now, the commission running the elections in Kenya has told us that we have got in excess of over 12,000 candidates contesting for the about uh, nothing more than 2,000 elective seats available for people to win. It is therefore important for us to note and to appreciate that out of the entire number of individuals uh, who are going to be able to share on these matters, that it's going to be an amazing opportunity for them to be able to know that almost 90% of these individuals will lose election. We want you to understand this. That out of the potential possible uh, people who are going into this election in the next one day, 90% of them will not get the seats they are looking for. Because the seats available is something like 10% of the entire contestants in this election. So people must and have to know how to manage their expectation. That is what I want to talk about this morning. So I came to say that God knows. God knows. And why do I say God knows? So you must know that the people who will win and there are those who will lose. Now listen. In the book of Jeremiah chapter number 29 and verse number 11, the Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Praise the name of the Lord. Bible tells us then that God knows the plans that he has for us. They are not plans of evil or disaster, but to give us a future that we hope for. Praise the Lord. Now, every time I read this scripture, I do recognize that God has got the very best of our interests. God has the very best of our interests, and he wants us to get the future that we expect or desire. So looking at our nation, all the contestants in this election are Kenyans. They have been authorized or approved to contest because one of the qualifications is you must be a Kenyan. So whoever wins this election is a Kenyan. Yesterday I talked about a message, we are one. I said we are one. And so I continue to say God knows. 
Would you imagine that even now, as we sit right now, listen to this message, God knows who the leader of our nation will be? God knows. And so it's up to us to exercise our civic duty on the 9th of August to go out there and cast our ballot. But we must know how to manage our expectation because only 10% of the people contesting will win. 90% will go home without anything on their hands because they would simply have lost this election. Now, every five years, this country has gone to an election. And so we are not like many other nations who struggle to replace their leader. Every five years, as per the Constitution, we go to an election and we vote the people we want to rule or to govern this nation. Of course, it has not been devoid of other challenges here and there, but every day has been a moment of continuous improvement. So I came to speak right into your life this morning to let you know that God knows. God knows. Praise the name of the Lord. God knows. When I say God knows, I simply mean that the choice of God is already made. We are going to be used of God to determine who that person will be, but that choice in the eyes of God is known. Now this morning, I want to tell you that after the 9th of August, the nation must continue to grow, the nation must continue to be united, the nation must continue to work together because this is the interest and the very desire of God concerning our nation. And we are one, but God knows. So no matter what you're going through today, no matter the candidates who have invested so much into this election, I simply want to speak to your hearts this morning to know that God knows. The fact that you haven't or you will not get it this time around doesn't mean that it is over. It means that then God in his own mind did not think that you will be the person to be the one who will lead. And whoever the Lord then chooses and entrenches into the position of power becomes our leader, becomes the leader of the nation. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to say categorically in the name of Jesus Christ that nothing will go wrong in this nation. We want as people who call upon a God who is true, righteous, and holy, that God will resist any attempt to bring trouble to this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. And so our borders are secure. Our nation is secure. Our nation is one by virtue of the word of God spoken over this country in the name of Jesus Christ. And we shall continue to exist coexist as we have done before without any acrimony, without any prejudices. The victory of God is what we wait for and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And so as Kenyans rise up to vote on the 9th of August, it's my prayer. that The Lord will lead us to elect individuals whose hearts are inclined towards God. And who can know the heart of man? Bible tells us the heart is desperately wicked. It is not about people saying that they are the best before God. Not at all. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that God will cause every voter to be influenced in their hearts to elect individuals whose hearts are inclined to the Lord. The Bible tells us the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? It's only God who can reveal to us the hearts of men. And I pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, as we arise on the 9th of August to cast our ballot, because God knows that he will lead us to elect individuals whose hearts are inclined to the Lord. Now, if a heart fears the Lord, then the people will benefit and the people will prosper. If the hearts of people are inclined to once the Lord, then I can tell you the nation is poised for greatness in the name of the Lord. So I want to decree and to declare this morning, it will be well. It is already well in our nation. No, no weapon fashioned against Kenya will stand. In fact, we cancel every negative word spoken against our nation. And we decree unity, we decree success, we decree prosperity, we decree favor, we decree revival in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want to say again that God will not allow 
any man or woman whose heart is not inclined to the to the lifting up of our nation god will not allow and i want to say in the name of jesus christ that only men and women whose hearts are inclined to us god and therefore inclined to us the people will succeed in this election come 10th of august we shall all join our hands together as a country to thank god for what you have done to thank god for lives that have been given uh, through the election and we shall move on as a country into greater heights of prosperity unity togetherness and oneness that the moral fabric of our nation will be strong enough to move this country to the next level allow me to say at this point that god has given us opportunity as a nation to jump from where we are to another place over every election to deal with the demon of tribalism to deal with the demon of corruption to deal with the people who have no interest of the country that is the place that god over the years has wanted us to jump from i pray that in this season in this particular season god will help us to crush the demon of tribalism once and for over once and forever to crush the demon of corruption once and forever to crush the demon of div 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 divisive politics in our nation once and forever and we shall move on as a country as one nation one people with a common vision and focus to prosper our nation this is my prayer this morning and i want to end by saying god knows and god is going to do it for us in the name of jesus christ may the good lord favor you the good lord bless you as you endeavor as you take up your responsibility as a citizen to go and cast your vote on tuesday it is well it is well it is well but what is a steady the righteous it is well with them and the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off because god knows so concerning our nation god knows concerning every aspect of our lives god knows concerning the unity of our country god knows concerning the peace of our nation god knows everything is clear before the eyes of god and he will act in our favor he will act in our dimension he will act in our favor in the mighty name of jesus christ the good lord therefore be with you the good lord bless you in the mighty name of jesus shall we pray lord god we thank you this morning we thank you because of your word we thank you because of the truth of the message we thank you because there is nothing which you do not know concerning our nation concerning our life there is nothing you do not know even the leader who shall lead this country lord you know and i pray this morning in jesus name that this shall be an individual whose heart is inclined towards the lord not because of speaking but because you alone god knows the hearts of men i pray this morning in jesus name that all leaders across all levels of election that god their hearts leaders will come into power will be those whose hearts are inclined to us god and therefore by extension inclined to us the people this is our prayer this morning father want to pray that once and for all we're going to deal with the demon of tribalism the demon of corruption the demon of divisive politics in our nation once and for all in the mighty name of jesus god i bless you and i worship you in jesus name we pray amen and amen the good lord bless you please make sure as a as a as a citizen who is responsible that you will go and cast your ballot on 9th of august it is well this has been your host pastor johnson sako coming to you live on the scripture prescription your daily morning dose of our lord and savior jesus christ shalom god bless you and i love you all with the love of jesus christ god bless you